I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I saw our people in Lagos passing through a lot of distress as a result of the flooding that took place because of a heavy downpour. Just pray that God will strengthen them, protect them, give them resources to help ameliorate the pains a lot of them went through. A lot of people, their foodstuffs, rice, onions, several things were damaged because of flooding. Electronics, I imagine the efforts people are going to use to dry their rugs, the efforts people will put in to restore their vehicles, Sometimes you need to drain the oil out, the engine oil out, even if it enters the gearbox, drain gearbox oil out. And then sometimes you need to rinse the oil, the engine first with uh, a, a, a solvent that will uh, clean out the engine before you put fresh oil. And you know the cost of oil, the cost of oil filter, and all that it's if there's any way the government can help the people they should try and do that this could have happened in any part of the world i've seen areas in the uk flooded greece uh, the united states brazil flooded thank god the death rate was quite they are, we didn't have any significant casualties. But there are some things I noticed. And number one, it shows the vulnerability, vulnerability of humanity to nature. If you believe in God or not, for those of us who believe in God, it shows the might of the almighty God and the vulnerability of humanity. The flood did not distinguish between the rich and the poor. It did not distinguish between mosque and church or shrine and beer palom. It shows that we are all in this boat together. And I remember Robert Nesta Mali also known as Bob Marley. He sang a song, when the rain falls, it won't fall on one man's house. Remember that. When the rain falls, it doesn't fall on one man's house. And there were things I saw that humanity, all this pride, I saw the equality of humanity, all this pride, Fine houses were flooded, shanties were flooded, Lamborghini could not move, Rolls Royce could not move, Camry and uh, Keke and big cars, all of them were rendered incompetent. G wagons that were submerged could not move. Sometimes vanity upon vanity really comes to mind. None of those things had any comparative advantage over the other. This life is funny. One other surprising thing I saw, I saw touts doing two things. One, they were carrying girls on their backs. Some of those girls would not have allowed any of those boys even touch their hands, but they, they were on their backs, put their breasts, on them, the boys held them and we're using them to cross water. One of them was saying, I wish somebody could back me. You see, some of all these are posing and sophistication. It is better to be very simple because disaster can reduce a superstar. Write that down. Disaster can reduce a superstar to nothing. So, but there was another thing they did. There was a small place where they had put bags and they were crossing. And they were extorting money from the people. 
our youths today in this generation, maybe because of the poverty and the hunger and the difficulties, this spirit of societal service is no longer there. They must capitalize on everything to extort people. And as they were collecting the money from the people, they did not ask them their tribes. Whether they were Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Urobo, they collected the 100, 100 Naira. They did not ask them their party affiliations. They collected their 100, 100 Naira until some people came and arrested them. So we are in this together. We are in this together. The rain did not select between APC, PDP, um, Labour Party, or whoever. Every person was affected. One thing we must learn is that if things go wrong, all of us will feel the pain and pay the price. But as Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, rightly said, when things go wrong, the poor pay the highest price. And so all these things that happen now, the poor and the vulnerable will pay the highest price. Tragically, they are the instruments that are used by, remember my Chipola's theory of uh, stupidity. They are the people that the tyrants use to oppress themselves and cause underdevelopment. The way things are going, the interest rate, Dangote is complaining. Dangote is complaining. I hear that he doesn't have enough tomatoes or whatever to run his tomato puree factory in the north. If Dangote is complaining, I must say here, without fear of contradiction, that Dangote had enjoyed undue privileges from previous governments for a long time. Now he is complaining. He is criticizing because he's also feeling the pains. When things go wrong in this country, we will all feel the pain. 28% interest rates. Which business can sustain that? 28% interest rate. It is so high. <coughs> Excuse me. So high. My fear is that if this economy turns to what happened in Argentina, all of us, irrespective of tribe, irrespective of race, I mean, and, uh, party affiliations, religious persuasions, we are going to pay a heavy price in this nation. And the earlier this decline is settled, the better for all of us. Remember, when the rain falls, it won't fall on one man's house. And let me quickly say this for those of you who are not reasonable. I made a post concerning the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. And I said that water levels are going to rise. It wasn't the rain alone. There was flash flooding from the lagoon. And coastal water levels are going to rise. This is just an example we saw. I was, have been looking for on in, in the internet about the uh, coastal road. My prayer is that that project be completed. But at the same time, now that water levels are rising, they better build that road very high so that when there is surge from the ocean and rising water levels, it will not be flooded and devastated like the east-west road 
2012 and 2022. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. Today is the last day to register for the oncoming conference of, of, the, of the 5th and 6th of July. We're going to do the recording and so you can pay and get the recordings. Send a message to plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three. God bless you and God bless Lagos State and bless Nigeria and strengthen our people in Jesus' name. Amen.